So let's recall from electric fields that we can derive the Poisson equation, del squared phi e, where phi e is the electric potential, is equal to minus rho e over epsilon naught, where rho e is the uh, density of electric charge. Um, we're, go we're going to derive an analogous equation for the gravitational field. Uh, so we're, we're, we're getting at what is called the Poisson equation. This is the Poisson equation for electric fields, and now we'll derive the Poisson equation for uh, gravitational fields. So to do that, let's imagine we have a point mass, M, and uh, we uh, want to consider a sphere, mass is at the center of the sphere, and say we have radius uh, r, and we want to consider the um, integral over the sphere, integral over the sphere of the gravitational acceleration, uh, <clears throat> which is sort of the, uh, the analog of the electric field for electromagnetism. So in this case, we're, we're dealing with the field of acceleration G integrated over the surface, over the surface of the sphere. And this is, um, so we have minus G, we have the mass, we divided by the distance squared, which is actually constant, but um, uh, R squared and there's a, a unit vector, right, gm over r squared, pointing, at every, every point, pointing radially outward. So there's the r hat, and we're dotting that with the surface element, and we're integrating over the sphere. Uh, and this is uh, minus gm. Um, again, I, I could have pulled this out, because this is a constant, um, and uh, this is an integral over, it's over a sphere, it's also, it's also a closed surface, Let's sort of write it like that, over the sphere, <coughs> um, gm over r squared, so we have the r hat, and, and then an expression for the dA, um, not that we really need to write this out fully, but the A's are little surface elements that are also pointing, have little uh, unit vectors pointing radially outward. So we have another R hat here. If we're precise, we, we have a surface element in spherical coordinates, which is uh, R squared sine theta d theta d phi, right? We're integrating in theta and phi, and then there's the R hat. And this gives us uh, minus gm. Um, the r squares cancel. We have sine theta d theta d phi. Uh, sine theta d theta d phi. We really should put two integrals there. Of course, it's a surface, so it's a, it's a double integral in, in, in theta and phi. Um, again, let's put closed surface there. And uh, this gives us uh, minus gm, and we get 4 pi from that. So we get minus 4 pi gm as the result of that. <coughs> what we call something similar for the electric field, where we integrate the electric field over surface, we get the charge enclosed. I mean, this is Gauss's law um, applied to uh, magnetic, uh, sorry, this is Gauss's law for uh, gravitational fields, and, and the, the result that we got before is Gauss's law for electric fields. When we did this um, for the uh, electric field, we integrated the electric field over a, over a closed surface. Um, but, and so uh, analogously there, we, you know, we, we integrated the charge density over the volume, and we got the charge here if we integrate the mass density over the volume, then we get the mass, which is 
all that, if we integrate all over in here. And so we can say that the integral of the, the acceleration field over, um, in this case, it's a closed surface, is equal to minus 4 pi g, and write the mass like this, uh, mass de density in volume over the volume that has the surface as a boundary. And so, the, of course, the theorem, uh, the usual theorem applies, and we know that uh, we integrate this dot dA, uh, that's going to equal to the divergence of the acceleration field, now it is to the divergence of the electric field integrated over the volume. All right, and so we have that the divergence of the gravitational acceleration field is equal to minus 4 pi g rho uh, mass. Um, and we want the Poisson equations, so we want another derivative, so the divergence of g in terms of the gravitational potential is uh, we divide by the mass and we take the gradient of the gravitational potential and this is minus 4 pi g rho mass where, um, sorry, I wrote this as phi before. No, oh, that, that's, that's okay, that's fine. Uh, actually, so I wrote phi, did I write phi here? Uh, f no, that's phi, phi electric. Uh, let's, call, let's call this phi magnet, uh, phi gravity for mass, well, maybe g is better. Uh, phi g is, uh, well, it's defined as u divided by m. And so we have it minus del squared on this phi g is equal to uh, 4 pi um, uh, minus 4 pi g rho m or del squared uh, phi g equals 4 pi g rho mass. Right, and so we compare this to uh, this equation for, for electric fields and for gravity. Um, of course, the electric field diverges radially away from positively charged particles, whereas the acceleration field diverges radially towards positively charged mass. So there's a difference in, in sign there.